Wow, okay, this is it. This is my little thing I have going on. This is my little personal studio. I'm looking at the viewfinder. Um, <laughs> this is pretty cool. I have this backdrop. I have a red light right here. And then I have this white light. It's very harsh on my face. And then um, this is just a microphone on the camera. I did buy, or I have a mic, but I bought a mic stand. And I'm gonna get better audio quality. So, okay. I hope that wasn't cringe enough. I have a full box. Is this recording working? Okay, cool. I have a full box of kombucha right here. Um, I don't know how else this show is gonna go. And my camera battery is about to die. That's great. Hold on. Frick. Okie dokie. We're just gonna move this to the side. We got one of these bad boys. Hello ladies and gentlemen. My name is Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Cold. Uh, cold Kombucha episode 8, but hold on. I have a whole entire box of... It. Wait, it's empty. We're buying all this kombucha right here. This one is my favorite actually. Box number 1. Box 2, box 3. Thank you. I literally don't have any room in my fridge. I literally, I have to take stuff out of my fridge. I don't have any room in my fridge. And I have a box of kombucha. I am about to show you guys what is going to happen. Yes, very exciting stuff indeed. GT's kombucha. I knew the name, frick. Today, we are going to be experiencing GT's kombucha, strawberry serenity. You know, what I, you know what I think I might do? What I might do is I might put the mic right here just to kind of flex a little bit. Just a little bit, yeah. Show I have the microphone. Show I have the microphone, how do I sound? Does that sound good? I keep looking at the viewfinder, I'm not looking at the, at the lens. All right, we're just gonna, yeah, um. <laughs> I remember the first episode I said I wanted to focus more on the audio quality and then the visual quality. I think I've kind of upped that visual quality. It's late, for me it's late, it's, it's 10.30. I've been getting like four hours of sleep the past couple weeks. I one couldn't sleep, and two I've just stayed up just because doing research um, on various topics. There's just a lot going on in my life right now. But the show must go on. This is how we officially swirl. I'm gonna zoom in on my face and post. We're gonna swirl. See how it's right next to my nose? We're just gonna do this. See what I'm doing here? I used to have this whole swirl thing. You don't need to do that. You need to get all the all the scooby off the bottom of the kombucha. And now we bring it back up. I'm ready for the initial. Crack this bad boy open. 
All right, so this is how we officially pour kombucha from yours truly. Just to minimize the uh, the foaming on it. You know what I mean? So we're gonna let the color. I have a white light right here and I have a red light right here. Um, I wanna say color, it looks like the GT's original. It's got that brownish kind of color. It's got a little bit of a red tint, so it makes sense. <sighs> smell? Smell isn't really there. Um, I don't know if it's me. My nose was stuffy, was a little clogged yesterday. I had to blow my nose, maybe that had to do with it. All right, you know what we're gonna do before we taste it? We're gonna let it oxidize a little bit. We're gonna read this. Let me move to the right a little bit. Pure, potent, and purposeful. These three words embody my philosophy on crafting the world's finest raw kombucha. Since 1995, I have fully fermented my small batches without shortcuts or compromise, only whole ingredients, naturally occurring ingredients, and traditional culturing methods. Always unfiltered and unpasteurized, every effervescent sip will revitalize your body and replenish your gut with goodness only nature can provide. GT Dave, founder. That is, that's, that's why I put this kombucha on such a pedestal. Just because I did a lot of research on GT Dave and he just puts so much energy and passion into the kombucha. You know, he also pretty much owns the kombucha game. Like you can find his kombucha everywhere along with Health Aid and Kavita and Brew Doctor. Those are like the four horsemen of kombucha. But I put, I put GT's Synergy on such a pedestal also partly because I know more about GT Dave than anyone else. If I learned more about, oh geez, who's who's the one with health aid? I forgot her name, but that's like even more proof. I need to know more about the people that create kombucha, which is why I made this show, which is why I did this show. Um, so. Words of enlightenment. Let go of your thoughts. Follow your breath. Let go of your thoughts. Follow your breath. I'm gonna put this right here. Let go of your thoughts. Follow your breath. Okay, carbonation, high, high on there. Carbonation is very high, I really like that. Um, taste. You know the carbonation almost overpowers the taste where I can't really taste the kombucha actually. This is very carbonated. I think it's because maybe I shook it upside down a little too long. Um, Taste-wise, I would say this is very similar to a strawberry Fanta. A little acidic and a little more bland. It's not It's not as crazy. Like a, a strawberry Fanta is just overloaded with high fructose corn syrup and artificial flavoring. This is completely natural. What would I choose? Uh, GT's. Strawberry Serenity or a Fanta Strawberry GT Synergy all day, every day. <sighs> Aesthetic level. It's low. It's very low, but you can still taste it. So overall, this kombucha. Um... You know, I put, I put the GT's original on a pedestal. I called it the gold standard, right? I bought a whole box of that. 
I bought a whole box of Strawberry Serenity, and I also bought a whole box of mm. Mystic Mango. I actually like Mystic Mango more than GT's original. The thing is, why I put GT's original on uh, such a high pedestal is because I use that as just a baseline, because it's just a basic, basic um, flavor. It just sets the standard. So I would say this has more flavor. Acidic level, about the same. I would say this one has a little more acidity. Carbonation, very high, very high. Um, out of five stars, what would I give this kombucha? I wanna say a 4.3 4 to 4.5. You know, the carbonation is there. The color is there. Just the only thing is that the taste, it wasn't very strong. It was pretty bland. And the smell, it just wasn't really there either. Um, comparing this one to Mystic Mango, Mystic Mango, the flavor of Mystic Mango is very there. It's very, it's explosive. You can very much taste the mango. As a matter of fact, the texture of Mystic Mango is different than this. The texture of Mystic Mango is a little more thicker, a little more fluid. Kind of like if you think about water and milk, like milk's just a little bit thicker. Am I making sense here? Um, you can actually taste, you can taste the mango and Mystic Mango. So I would give this one like a 4.3. It's good. The carbonation's there. The taste is, it's all right. I don't want to say like a 4.2. Really. Ready? So the carbonation is very high. Final verdict. <laughs> I would give this, out of five stars, being a perfect kombucha, and one star is being like something crap, like, I don't know, I haven't gotten there yet. Like, I don't know, maybe Holiday Cheers by um, Health Aid? Come on, that was a um, pretty disappointing flavor. Versus something like Five Stars, like Mystic Mango or GT's Original. Mm, I mean, it's... I want to say a 4.2 to 4.5. It's around there. Uh, should you try it? Yes. You know, I almost want to say I like this because I have a whole freaking box right there. I have 11 other of these I have to drink and I've only like made a dent in this one and if you want to talk about carbonation this loses its carbonation when I pour it versus drinking straight from the bottle holy cow yeah ready <clears throat> that's how like every time I sip I have to burp all right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching, and I will be tasting another one right after this. Which one? I don't know. I don't know yet. We'll see. We'll see. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. My name is Eric Brown, and I will soon be destroyed and replaced by the next evolution.